Hey everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Neil. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to Post to Post. I have not made a tier ranking video before or a tier maker video before, whatever you want to call this. They are super popular, a big trend a couple of years ago. It's still ongoing. I've just never done it. I've never, I, I rank a lot of stuff. I rate a lot of stuff on the channel. Uh, but I've never used the actual tier maker or tier ranker. So this is a new for me, but we're gonna have some fun with it. We're gonna talk about fast food or restaurants um, specific to kind of myself, United States and Canada. There are going to be some restaurants, some fast food joints on here that you literally do not recognize because maybe you live in California and well, you're not gonna know what deluxe French fries is because it's pretty East Coast specific. And uh, there are some on here that I've never been to before. So I've added some that I'm aware of but never been to. Uh, we can kind of go through that as well and I'll talk a little bit about that. But uh, there are, I don't know how much there are, there's probably like 50 on here. We're gonna do our best we can uh, to get this, through this in a timely fashion. And um, we're going to start off just basically how it's laid out. These, they're not in any order. And if you wanna fill this out, I think I do have this on uh, as public so you can go fill it out whenever you want. But uh, it's just called Post to Post Fast Food and Restaurants. If you want to search that, you can find it. I'll also try and link it down below. All right, let's get going. Let's do Olive Garden first. I've never been to Olive Garden. I know it's uh, popular in the United States, but uh, and I've been to the United States quite a bit, been to 26 states. Very uh, happy that I can say that, uh, but I've never been to Olive Garden. Maybe in the future. Outback Steakhouse. Never been. I hear lots of <laughs> I hear lots of really good things, but I've uh, I've never been. Uh, G'day, my ear has a gown. Next up, Red Robin. Never been there either. <laughs> Not off to a real good start here, but I didn't put these in any specific order. It's just how they uh, appeared. I I do hear decent things about Red Robin, but uh, I've, yeah, I've never been. This next one, most of you probably won't recognize this. This is St. Hubert. It is uh, a chicken place that is originated in Quebec, I believe and then has moved to Atlantic Canada. It might be in Ontario as well. Maybe it's all across Canada, I'm not exactly sure. They've got some decent things, but overall, it's kind of a miss for me. I'd, I'll i probably put them down in the D category. I'm a big chicken guy, I love chicken, but uh, St. Hubert, a bit of a miss. Domino's Pizza, Domino's has, I think, the best prices around me. Uh, I like the sauce that they use. They are, their cheesy bread is incredible. Um, so I gotta put this up in, in, in A tier for me. They are one of the best pizza joints around me anyway. Costco, you, well, why is Costco on this list, Neil? At least where I'm from, they have hot dogs, chicken fingers, fries, man, they're chicken fingers and fries, specifically the chicken fingers. So good, so good. So I gotta put Costco up in uh, probably B. Probably, they're, they're not perfect, so, but they're, they're, they're pretty good, so keep them up there. A and W. I think a and is for scrubs, uh, super overpriced. Uh, they got a, like, it's okay food. Their fries are not good. Their onion rings, eh, okay. Uh, their root beer is fantastic. Um, their burgers are actually really good, but f for what you pay, for what you get, I'd rather just go elsewhere. So um, C is where I'm gonna place them. Arby's, I've had Arby's once and it was a good experience, but they make a lot of things. I see Arby's commercials and stuff. The things that they make don't look appetizing to me, but what I have had, I like. So kind of a weird one. I'm going to put it in the C category for now. Ben and Jerry's. I mean, that's kind of ice cream, so it's not really food, but it is technically listed in the fast food chains. I love Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's is awesome. Ben and Jerry's is a B, at, at minimum B. This next one, Boston Pizza. You might think that that's an American company or brand. It is not. It is made in Canada. And uh, as you'll see in a couple of these as we go through, Canada has a, an obsession with creating companies based on American names and city names and, and state names. Uh, it's a weird thing. I don't understand it. Boston Pizza makes decent food. It's overpriced. Uh, so I don't typically go there. I'm going to put it down in the C category. Buffalo Wild Wings been there a couple times it's been pretty decent i think that's b category we'd like to have more in the future for a, a better opinion burger king oh burger king i used to love burger king when burger king had the tender crisp man you remember the tender crisp maybe they still have it in the states but they don't have it here in canada so uh they've just fallen so far down my list it's unreal i like their fries most people don't like their fries i like burger king's fries um these are their c c best case scenario uh, they've just really fallen down my list of, uh, of places to eat. Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. Actually, there's two here. I'm going to move this up. Carl's Jr. and Hardee's are basically the same thing. I don't really understand it. I've been to both. Both are pretty decent. I put them in B category. One time I drove from 
I think it was somewhere in Utah. I can't remember where in Utah. No, it was Page, Arizona. I drove, drove from Page, Arizona to uh, Salt Lake City. And all along the way, I stopped at Carl's Jr. to refill my Carl's Jr. <laughs> glass. Or maybe it was Hardy's. I don't know. Anyways, Checkers. I've been to Checkers once. It was in Kissimmee, Florida, or Kissimmee, however you want to say it. It was it was okay. I'd probably put it uh, in the C category. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is for absolute legends. It's for the elite people in the world. Uh, if you like chicken, man, you got to go there. The waffle fries. Uh, all. If you... If you don't like Chick-fil-A, I'm not sure if we can be friends. Chick-fil-A is S-tier. Absolutely S-tier. Chipotle, I've had it once, and it was actually really good. I'm they don't I'm a very picky eater, and they don't usually sell a lot <laughs> that I'm interested in, but uh, what I did have and what I was interested in was very good. I'm gonna put that in A tier. Cinnabon. I've never been to Cinnabon. We have the pretzel maker, I think it's called here. It's not on this list. Uh, but they do make cinnamon buns as well, I think. But I've never been to actual cinnamon. I've walked past one, but never been there. Uh, Cracker Barrel. Barrel. I said it. Cracker Barrel. I have been here once. It was pretty decent, although I don't really remember it that much. So I put it in C, C tier. Del Taco. I know this is very famous in the States. I don't think there's any in Canada, and I've never been. That one is in the never been. Next up. 98% of you do not know what this is. This is Deluxe French Fries. Deluxe makes incredible fish and chips. Hand, handmade fries. They've got this big thing on the wall. They put the potato in, zink, makes the fries right there in front of you. Um, incredible food. If you're ever in, in Atlantic Canada, you got to go to Deluxe Fish and Chips. That is S tier. Absolutely. Denny's. A lot of my American friends make fun of me for <laughs> loving Denny's so much. It's almost a, I think it's a bit of a meme to like Denny's maybe or something because I always get made fun of, uh, but I, I really like Denny's. I absolutely love Denny's. I wish they had one here in Atlantic Canada, but they do not. Denny's is S tier. Yeah, that's right. S tier. Dairy Queen. I've had Dairy Queen in the United States and I've had Dairy Queen in Canada and they've both been very different experiences. Canada Dairy Queen, I like quite a bit. American Dairy Queen, not so much. Um, they have a great, they have great chicken fingers. I like their fries. Burgers are pretty good. But uh, ice cream, I actually don't really like Dairy Queen ice cream that much. Still, very good. A tier. Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. Well, Neil doesn't. I don't run on Dunkin'. Uh, I've never gotten anything at Dunkin' Donuts that I've liked. That gets D tier. The worst. Five Guys. Man, Five Guys is that place I think I've had a couple times. They put your food in the bag, and then they pour more fries in. Any place that's giving me extra fries in the bag, A tier. Greco Pizza. 310, 30, 30, Greco. I don't actually know if this is all over North America. Uh, I don't remember seeing it anywhere in the States that I've been, but that commercial is so popular, I feel like it's North American wide, but maybe it's not. But Greco Pizza is is pretty decent. They have the best pizza sauce, in my opinion. However, they put the pepperoni under the cheese. That is that is a criminal offense. You have to put the pe pepperoni on top of the cheese. Therefore, it gets C tier. Harvey's. Harvey's burgers are terrible. I hate Harvey's burgers. They're not even burgers. They're just this, I don't know. I can't describe it. They suck. However, their chicken burgers are amazing. I love Harvey's chicken burgers. And they came up with new nuggets recently. They're so good. Harvey's gets A tier. Just based on the chicken alone, screw their burgers. All about the chicken. IHOP. Listen, I'm Canadian, okay? And if you get a place who has regular syrup and then is like, let's, let's come up with some new syrup. I appreciate you. IHOP with your specialty syrups is A tier. They've got like raspberry and strawberry and blueberry uh, and whatever any other kind of berry you want to put in there. Oh, man, those those syrups are so good. In and out. I believe this was originated in California. I've never had it. I've never had In and Out burger. Jack in the Box. I hear okay things. I've never had Jack in the Box. Jimmy John's. Never had it. Johnny Rockets. Okay, <laughs> so I've, I love Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets is S tier. I'm just going to put it up there. But I've had very different experiences with Johnny Rockets. Uh, I had one in Buffalo that was... No, I had one in Niagara Falls that was incredible. Florida was incredible. But I had one in Buffalo that was terrible. But overall, Johnny Rockets, Rockets is amazing. The aesthetics is, is incredible. Their burgers are so damn good. Um, so thumbs up, S tier, Johnny Rockets. KFC. To me, KFC is one of those places that 
you don't go super frequently, but when you do, it's because you kind of have a craving for it. Not because you, you know, like McDonald's, I could probably have McDonald's every three days if I wanted. I just, most people like McDonald's. Uh, but KFC, like there's no way I could eat KFC once every three days. I might get KFC like once every maybe four months, maybe once every five months, something like that. When I when I get a craving, I go get it, but it's not very often. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty greasy. Uh, most of this food on here is, but to me, KFC is B tier. Krispy Kreme. I've never been to a Krispy Kreme. I've never once been to a Krispy Kreme. Let's put that in there. Little Caesars. Little Caesars has great deep dish pizza. I really like it, but it's a regular pizza. The quick stuff, eh, it's not that great. So I'm going to put it in B tier. Still pretty good. Dixie Lee. 99.8% of you have no idea what Dixie Lee is. It is a very localized food chain in Atlantic Canada. I'm pretty sure it's not outside. Like Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, where I live, Nova Scotia, I, I don't think it's in any other province uh, in Canada, but uh, Dixie Lee is, it's kind of like a chicken joint. It's got fried chicken. Uh, it's like, it's like a, I was going to say budget KFC. KFC is the budget version, but Dixie Lee is chicken, fish, uh, stuff like that. I don't know. It's, it's really good. I really like it. It's going to go in B category. Mary Brown's, shout out to Newfoundland, uh, which are, Mary Brown's originated in Newfoundland. I think it's all across Canada. I'm not sure if it's in the United States. If KFC is a Ford or a Chevy, Mary Brown's is a Mercedes or it's a Lexus or it's an, it's an Acura. It is the premier brand of chicken. It is so damn good. I absolutely like it. I absolutely love it. Mary Brown's is S tier, minimum S tier. It can't go up, can't go down. It is just like, it is stuck at the top. McDonald's. I mean, it is the quick and easy option any day of the week. Uh, maybe you don't have time cooking. Ah, it's going to go to McDonald's. You know, the nuggets, the McChicken, the junior chicken, the McDouble. There's just, there's so much you can get at McDonald's that's really good and consistent. Uh, McDonald's is A tier. not It's not S tier for me. Montana. Here's a good example. Montana's Bar and Grill. Or Barbecue and Bar or whatever you want to call it. We, I, we just call it Montana's. It's not in the United States. It is a Canadian company called Montana's. Inside, there are like deer heads on the wall, and there's canoes hanging from the ceiling. And it's a, aesthetically, it's a pretty cool spot. It does look look like something right out of Montana. Uh, and the food is is quite good. It's expensive, but it's it's good. Uh, Montana's is a tier. Panda Express. What is this? Hold on. Oh, this one's hidden. Uh, New York fries. New York fries is S tier. Uh, another good example. New York Fries is not an American company. It's a Canadian company. So we've got Boston Pizza, Montana's, and a New York Fries, all Canadian companies based on American influence or uh, branding, I guess. And New York Fries is, I mean, they just serve fries. I think they have hot dogs, but they specialize in fries, and their fries are so good. S tier. Panda Express. I think I'm going to get made fun of here a little bit for this. Uh, but I could eat the orange chicken from Panda Express exclusively probably for the rest of my life. I, I It is one of the best things I've ever eaten, <laughs> ever. I'm going to put it in uh, A tier. And within these tiers, there are no ranking here. I'm just kind of throwing them in there. Papa John's. Papa John's is really good. I find it overpriced, though. I'm going to throw it in uh, B tier. Pita Pit. Ah, hit or miss with me. I've had good experiences at Pita Pit, bad experiences. I'm going to put it in probably C tier. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut used to be the elite go place to go for pizza, and I just, it has fallen so far down below, or it's so far down on my list. I never go there anymore. I find it super expensive. It's They've changed. Um, D tier. Louisiana. Uh, oh, sorry, that's Popeye's Chicken. Popeye's Chicken is, is amazing. I wish they had some in Atlanta, Canada. They don't, unfortunately. Popeye's Chicken, S tier, absolutely. Pure and simple. I think this may only be in Atlanta, Canada, maybe Canada-wide, but Pure and Simple is a very... Kind of prestige place to get breakfast, if that makes any sense. What you get is so high quality; it is is amazing. I love Pure and Simple. Super expensive, but uh, very good. They get S tier. Quiznos. I've never really had Quiznos. It doesn't really uh, doesn't really appeal to me. I'm not a big Subway guy either. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab Subway up here as well. To me, they're the, kind of the same thing. I've, I've I've actually never had Quiznos, so that's gonna go in the never been. The Subway's gonna go in D tier. I Subway's. I hate the smell of Subway. Just It makes my stomach turn. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers? Listen, maybe you don't know me. Maybe you just clicked on this video randomly 
and this is your first time uh, getting to know me, well, the first thing you need to know about Neil is Neil likes chicken fingers. So any place that sells exclusively chicken fingers and it's in the name of the damn company or the branding, that's a place that Neil likes. Raisin Cane's, A tier. Red Lobster, very popular in the United States. Uh, there are none where I live, uh, but I've never been there regardless. Ruby Tuesdays, I've been there a couple times. I think it's kind of average. Uh, I'm going to put it in C tier. Shake Shack, I had Shake Shack once in Vegas, and it was, oh, maybe twice, but it was still, it was very good. Maybe a little bit expensive, but uh, but very good. I'm going to put it in, ooh, A tier or B tier? Hmm. This one's tough. Hmm. Oh, I'm stuck on this one. I don't know. B or A? Uh, it's going to walk the line. I'm going to put it at top tier B. Sonic. I've had this a couple of times. Uh, I had this on my way to Page, Arizona from Vegas. Uh, I think it was in St. George, Utah. Is that what it's, that place is called? It's a little city you have to drive through. Or not little. It's a, it's a big city. Not big, but it's a city. Sonic. Uh, they come out in rollerblades. That's that's awesome. A tier. Starbucks, Star, Starbucks, um, decent, extremely overpriced, uh, C. Swiss Chalet, man, I love Swiss Chalet. They have, uh, uh, what's it called? It's just, a, it's basically just a chicken meal. It comes with potatoes and all that stuff, but it's, it's a quarter chicken, quarter chicken dinner. That's what, that's what I get there. And it's real good. Uh, Swiss Chalet is B tier. Taco Bell, I've been there once, it was 10 years ago, and I honestly don't really remember it, so I'm going to put it in like below C tier, I need to have more experience there. TGI Fridays, as a kid, I loved TGI Fridays, now as I've gone back to an, ad, with as an adult, <laughs> sorry, uh, it hasn't been as good from my memory, so I'm going to put uh, TGI Fridays in probably like upper C tier. Tim Hortons, as a Canadian, it is my duty to say great things about Tim Hortons, well, Lock me up because I hate Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is terrible. They are not the same company they were five years ago. And a lot of people have switched to McDonald's coffee because they think that Tim Hortons coffee doesn't taste that great anymore because they, they, they were bought out and, and a lot of change has happened in Tim Hortons in the last decade. Uh, fun fact, the McDonald's coffee that you drink in Canada right now is actually old Tim Hortons coffee. Tim Hortons was playing hardball with the coffee manufacturer and McDonald's got wind of it and swooped in and were like, ah, we'll pay that. So the McDonald's coffee, if you're drinking that now in Canada, that's actually old Tim Hortons coffee. Fun fact. Uh, Tim Hortons sucks. D. Waffle House. Uh, I don't think I've been there, so I'm going to put in never been. I'll, if I have, if I was, I don't remember. Uh, Wendy's. Ah, Wendy's is so hit or miss with me. It, I love their spicy chicken burger. It is, they're, it's so good. Their chicken fingers are really good. I like their chicken nuggets as well. but And I like their buns. I just... I never feel satisfied after Wendy's. I'm going to put them in low B. Whataburger. Man, I hear so many good things about Whataburger, but I've never been. White Castle. Looks good, but I've never been. So there's my official list. Uh, if I want to do a ranking, let's do. Let's actually rank S tier. Chick-fil-A is number one. Okay, Chick-fil-A is number one. Um, mm, I'm going to put Mary Brown's number two. Uh, Denny's, there's so many options at Denny's, I gotta put it up there. Deluxe, uh, Johnny Rockets, that seems about right. So Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A is my all-time favorite <laughs> fast food restaurant. They don't have any here in Canada where I live. I have to drive, I've actually driven from Fredericton where I live to Bangor, Maine to get Chick-fil-A. That's a four-hour drive across a border between the United States and Canada. I've done that just to get Chick-fil-A. Uh, that is embarrassing to say, but, <laughs> but I have done it. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Where do you think I was wrong here? Where do you think I was right? Do you think I missed any fast food restaurants or anything? What else do you want to see me do on the tier list here? Uh, we'd love to know your feedback. Love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button if you like this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.